Lightroom presets allow you to quickly incorporate basic looks onto your photographs, but aren't you longing for something more unique and customizable? Whether you're looking to create sleek black and whites, emulate analog film textures and grain, apply modern or retro borders, or simply blur a foreground in your photograph, On One Effects is the perfect solution for your creative edits. On One Effects is packed with looks, styles, and textures that you can easily search for and preview. The best part is, all of the effects are stackable, blendable, and maskable. There isn't a look or style that you can't achieve. Each effect has its own set of custom sliders and modifiers that you can use to fine tune your photograph. Masking and selectively applying these effects is also a breeze. Through AI masking and state of the art brushing and refining tools, you can easily blend in skies, colors, and textures into any part of your photograph. It's the perfect plugin for any workflow and works seamlessly with Lightroom, Photoshop, Capture One, and Affinity Photo. You can even batch process your looks into groups of images, saving you massive amounts of time when editing larger projects. In no time at all, you'll be creating professional edits and eye-catching imagery without any of the extra effort. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create compelling landscapes using Lightroom and On One Effects. Let's start with this landscape image here. Inside of Lightroom, I'm going to develop the basic tone settings of my image so that I can see some of the darker details and expose for the shadows. I'm going to head over to my basic tone controls and I'm going to use this auto button to automatically develop the images settings for me. Then I'm going to pull up on the exposure to make sure that the image isn't underexposed. Right about there. Now that we've modified the tone, let's quickly send it over to On One Effects where we can start styling the image. I'm going to head up to File, Plugin Extras, On One Effects Standalone 2021. In the export options here, we're going to modify the file type that we send over to On One Effects. I'm going to edit a copy with Lightroom settings, and then in my copy options, I'm going to change the file format to JPEG. You can use whatever file format you'd like, but I typically use JPEG here if I'm not modifying any layers. I'll choose OK. Now we're inside of On One Effects with those Lightroom adjustments applied to our image. Because our scene has flowing water in it, we can use the glow filter inside of On One Effects to bring out a rich, silky feel in the ocean water. I'm going to brighten the glow filter and then use the masking options to adjust where the glow filter is applied to. I only want it applied to the water in the foreground, so I can use a luminosity mask to target the bright, watery areas, and then I can use the masking gradient tool to remove it from the sky. The masking is incredibly powerful inside On One Effects, but it's also very simple to use. Let's use the mask we just created and place it into a different filter. We can selectively apply detail to the darker textures in our scenes such as rocks and trees using the dynamic contrast filter and the mask we just created. Inside of the dynamic contrast filter, let's paste that mask and then invert it to ensure that it's only applied to the dark textures in the foreground. I'll use the masking brush to remove some of the harsh detail from the sky and voila, the textures and details are popping nicely. Now let's enhance the sky a bit. The Color Enhancer filter is an excellent filter for modifying one or all of the colors in your photograph. I'm going to intensify the saturation and warmth to bring a warm summer feel to the photograph. To make sure the scene looks natural, I can easily remove some of the intense color from the water with the masking brush. That's how you create a compelling landscape using selective glows and detail. Now let's modify a landscape using custom borders and selective coloring. In Lightroom, We'll modify the basic tone again and then send it over to On One Effects. Using On One Effects, let's adjust the look of the sky with a texture. The Dark Clouds preset from the Texture Filter works perfectly on this photograph. I can use the custom sliders to blend the clouds, and then I can use my masking bug to remove it from the foreground. On One Effects comes equipped with a large variety of creative assets and you can easily import and manage your own textures, overlays, LUTs, and more. I'm going to use the Color Enhancer filter to separate the balloons from the new sky texture and also warm the photo up. From there, I'll use one more Color Enhancer filter to selectively make each balloon more saturated and vibrant. 
The masking brush works perfectly for this. With the sky more interesting and the balloons more colorful, let's wrap our scene in an elegant border. With the borders filter, you'll find a vast array of vintage and modern borders. With this image, however, I'm going to keep it relatively simple and use this classy white border here. Our image looks great and it took us no time at all to incorporate a unique, revamped look. It's really that easy to stylize, mask, and blend inside of On One Effects. If you want to learn more about using On One plugins or On One editing products, head over to our website at www.onone.com or leave a comment below.